हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय ऑनलाइन प्रेप आई होप कि आप सबने फर्स्ट वीडियो देख ली होगी और इसी सीरीज में टुडे वी हैव द सेकंड क्लास ऑफ सीरीज दैट इज फॉर सी ए आई आई बी एग्जाम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दिस सीरीज वी हैव अ मेन मोटिव ऑफ स्कोरिंग मोर देन सिक्सटी प्लस इन योर एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस वी हैव फॉर द एडवांस बैंकिंग मैनेजमेंट पेपर वन क्लास as the chapter of the title suggests sampling technique which means that pure portion mein se ek sample ki study karna similarly in the short duration of time jaise ki we have bulky books we have e books so isme se ki concepts ko revise karna mcqs ko revise karna this is our main motive like the name of the chapter suggests so i hope that aapne subscribe kar liya hoga channel ko so that you don't out miss any of the videos that are going to be very helpful for your preparation so proceeding with the chapter we have objectives introduction random sampling sampling distribution sampling from normal and non normal population along with central limit theorem and finite population multiplier so let's get started for our chapter second so first question here is what is the purpose of conducting of a population census the first option says to reduce the need for statistical analysis second is to estimate parameters accurately third states to select a representative sample and the fourth is to eliminate the need for sampling and we have options as only one only two two and third both first second and fourth so here the correct option would be option number b in this case now we'll have a detailed discussion about it ki option b why is the only correct option population census ka matlab hota hai census method ke through jo hum survey karte hain to census method ikloata hai sa method hai jisme hum parameters ko accurately define kar sakte hain because here we do not rely on the sampling techniques so that's why option b is the correct answer because parameter accurately hum tabhi le sakte hain jab hum census method ke through apni study ko complete kare na ki sampling method ke through we have second question why do tea tasters and food products undergo sampling instead of testing everything the first option is to save time and the cost second is to ensure 100% accuracy third is to eliminate the need for statistical analysis and fourth is to generate the results to the entire population so the options are only one only two both two and three first second and fourth are correct in this case the correct option would be option b would be correct why we'll discuss it we'll have a thorough analysis of the same जब भी हम सैम्पलिंग की बात करते हैं तो सैम्पलिंग कभी भी हमें 100% परसेंट एक्यूरेट रिजल्ट नहीं देता तो जिसकी वजह से टू इंश्योर 100% परसेंट एक्यूरेसी वाला ऑप्शन इनकरेक्ट हो गया सो वी कैन एलिमिनेट ऑप्शन नंबर सी एंड ऑप्शन नंबर डी नाउ वी आर लेफ्ट विद ऑप्शन फर्स्ट एंड ऑप्शन सेकेंड विच से ओनली थर्ड इज करेक्ट सो इसमें हम ये देखेंगे कि स्टैटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस की जो नीड है उसको एलिमिनेट करने के लिए हम सैम्पलिंग यूज करेंगे क्योंकि टी टेस्टर्स और फूड प्रोडक्ट एक ऐसा टेक्निक और एप्लीकेशन है जहां पर सैम्पलिंग वुड बी गुड टू यूज इट क्योंकि अगर हम सेंसेस में जाएंगे तो हम सबकी पर्सनल ओपिनियन और पर्सनल चॉइसिस पे चले जाएंगे ना कि एक कलेक्टिव चॉइस पे कि लोगों को क्या पसंद सो so यहाँ पर ऑप्शन C means कि to eliminate the need for statistical analysis जो कि option number B में दिया गया है that would be the correct answer for the C. Next we have the third question which is what is the main drawback of using judgment sampling? अब इस चीज के लिए आपको पता होना चाहिए कि judgment sampling होती क्या है? So first option is it results in biased sample. Second it results a large sample size. it is time consuming and the fourth is it lacks validity in the statistical analysis so in this case the correct option would be option number a because judgment sampling kya hoti hai judgment sampling ke andar for example i want ki women empowerment zyada honi chahiye 
तो मैं उस सेक्शन ऑफ दी सोसाइटी को लूंगी अपने सैंपल के लिए जहां पर वुमेन्स का पार्टिसिपेशन रेट काफी ज्यादा है तो क्योंकि मुझे दिखाना भी यही है कि वुमेन्स का पार्टिसिपेशन रेट काफी ज्यादा इंक्रीज हो गया सो आई हैव टेकन दोज वुमेन्स जो वर्किंग है और जो वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट में काफी अच्छा रोल प्ले कर रही है तो ये सारा सैंपल लेने के बाद मैं इनमें से कोई पर्टिकुलर वुमेन्स का और सैंपल ले लूंगी पॉपुलेशन साइज भी मैंने अपने अकॉर्डिंग चूज किया और इसमें से सैंपल भी तो जो मेरा रिजल्ट होगा वो बायस्ड होगा That's my option ए यहां पर हमारा करेक्ट आंसर प्रिसीडिंग विद नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द मेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ सिंपल रैंडम सैम्पलिंग फर्स्ट इट इंश्योर दैट ईच आइटम इन द पॉपुलेशन हैज एन इक्वल प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बींग सिलेक्टेड द सेकेंड इज इट इन्वॉल्व सिलेक्टिंग सैंपल बेस्ड ऑन पर्सनल नॉलेज और ओपिनियंस द थर्ड इज टू डिवाइड द पॉपुलेशन इन टू स्ट्रेट आर्स बिफोर सिलेक्टिंग द सैंपल and the fourth is selecting sample in a systematic manner selecting samples in a systematic manner is known as systematic sampling dividing the population into strata is known as stratified sampling selecting samples based on personal knowledge or opinion is about is non probability sampling where we have some biasness so we are left with only option a and that would be the correct option for this answer kyunki simple random sampling ke andar har ek event ko choose hone ke 100% chances hote hain ki we could choose anybody like we have a lottery so any slip could be chosen we'll just put our hand and we'll choose a one so means har ek lottery ko choose karne ka 100% or equal chances it so that's why option a would be correct for this answer next question is what is the probability of having a sample mean between 92 and 102 for the sample of 25 observation where standard deviation is given to us as 17.2 and mean is 98.6 जस्ट कीप वन थिंग इन माइंड कि जितने भी आपके न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन हैं वो काफी ज्यादा वेटेज स्टैटिस्टिक्स में कवर करते हैं और आपको हर एक फॉर्मूला याद होना चाहिए कि कौन सा फॉर्मूला किस केस में लगेगा सो फॉर दिस सोल्यूशन यहां पर n इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी फाइव हमें गिवन है स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन हमें गिवन है सेवनटीन पॉइंट टू एंड वी हैव मीन एज नाइनटी So, यहां पर जो फॉर्मूला लगेगा दैट वुड बी आई क्विकली राइट द फॉर्मूलाज फॉर यू दैट इज जी इक्वल्स टू एक्स माइनस म्यू अपॉन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन अपॉन अंडर रूट ऑफ एन विच इज इक्वल्स टू नाइंटी टू माइनस नाइंटी एट पॉइंट सिक्स अपॉन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन विच इज गिवेन टू आस सेवनटीन पॉइंट टू डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव is less than x because sample mean must be between 92 and 102 so here it would be 102 minus 98.6 upon we have 17.2 divided by root 25 so after solving this we get our answer as p of we have minus 19.2 greater than less than z then we have 0.99 we'll take the z values from the table and as a result we have got it as 0.4726 plus 0.3389 so this is equals to 0.8115 which means that correct option would be option a in this case so we have used the z formula that is x minus mu upon standard deviation upon under root of n by using this formula we have found the probability of having a mean sample between 92 and 102 is 0.8115 we have another question of the same type here we have n equals to 36 earlier we have n equals to 25 so here standard deviation is same mean is also same the probability is also same the only difference is for the observations so again 
we are going to use the same thing the same formula that would be 92 minus 98.6 upon we have 1 7.2 under root of 36 then we have z value so our mean sample should be between 92 and 102 minus 98.6 again the same thing upon we have 17.2 and under root of 36 after solving both these we will get our answer as p of 92 less than x bar less than 102 so we have calculated for this this 92 and 102 what we are going to get we get p of minus 2.30 less than z then we have 1.1 a after solving this we are going to get the value of minus 2.30 and 1.1 at from the z table and it would be equals to 0.4893 plus 0. 3810 which is equals to 0.8703 so option d is the correct answer in this case so we have our my online prep application for you where you can download free videos free mock tests and also all these mcqs which we are doing on this website are freely available for all of you so that you can score a better percentage and in this short duration you can give a quick boost to all the chapters and could revise key concepts which are based on chapters which are being made with the help of revised syllabus which is being uploaded on the website so do have a look for the same and also subscribe to the channel proceeding with the next question it says that a certain machine produces tools and it has been found that 5% of them are defective in a shipment of 500 tools what is the probability that 8% or more of them are defective assuming that the sample size is large enough to use the central limit theorem so first of all we have to find mean in this case that would be equals to n into p so here we have n equals to 500 multiplied by p that is 0.05 gives us the answer as 25 next we have to find the standard deviation which says under root of n into p into q which is equals to under root of 500 multiplied by 0.05 into 1 minus 0.05 so after solving this we get our answer as 4.87 which would be equivalent to 5 we have rounded it off to 5 now we are going to use the z formula that is x minus mu upon standard deviation that would be equals to 40 minus 25 upon 5 now from where we have got is 40 it is 8% of 500 which is equals to 40 so after solving this we get our answer equivalent to 3 and while using the z table we have z is greater than equals to 3 which is the value equals to 0.0013 so for in this case the answer would be option a means that using the central limit theorem the probability that 8% of them are defective is 0.0013 So we have a question of fair coin is tossed seven hundred times using the normal appropriation and the central limit theorem. What is the probability of getting a hedge between two eighty and three seventy five? So we have mean equals to n into p, which is equals to seven hundred multiplied by zero point five, gives us the answer as three fifty. We have to find standard deviation for the same, which is equals to under root of n into p into q. Gives us the answer as seven hundred multiplied by zero point five into one minus zero point five. So this is equivalent to thirteen point two two. So further, we are going to apply the Z formula, which is equals to two eighty minus of three fifty upon we have thirteen point two two less than mean. Also, it should be. Second limit would be 375 minus 350 upon 13.22.
So after solving this, we get it as P of Z less than equal to minus 5.29 and the second would be P of Z equals to less than equals to 1.89. So we are going to get their values from the Z table such that value of minus 5.29 is equals to 0 and the value of 1.89 is equals to 0 0.970621. So when we are going to deduct 0 0.970621 minus 0, we get our answer as 0 0.970621. So in this case, option A is the correct answer for the same. Okay, so that's all for today. So, in today's class, we have gone through most important MCQs from chapter 2, that is the sampling techniques. Now, what you have to do is, ki aap my online prep ke application pe jai aur waha par kafi important videos jo ki key concepts se related aapke liye free of cost hai, to aap is cheez ko zarur avail kare. Taki aapke preparation mein zara se bhi kami na rahe aur aap isi attempt mein apne exam ko clear karke more than 60 plus aap score kar paaye. Also, you have free mock test available in our online prep, my online prep application. Or what you have to done is, for example, how many questions we have done. So, is questions ka aapka kya score tha, wo aapko comment down karna hai so that you can have a check ki kon se chapters pe aapko aur zyada mehnat karni hai. And also, if you have not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe it kyunki aap ek bhi video ko miss karne ka mauka nahi chhod sakte. Because it's your time to have a smarter study and smart work for your better score. So keep learning with us. Thank you.